Hi, this video will walk you through deploying FortiGate VM in AWS. In there, you can see a couple of options for deploying FortiGate uh, functionalities such as application control, malware analysis, web filtering, antivirus, and IPS technology. Fortinet does provide a free trial period for 30 days so you can deploy it in your environment, play around with it, set up all the policy and SSL VPN and try it out. Let's deploy a firewall. Click on continue to subscribe. However, uh, before we do that, I want to show you the AWS cookbook that's available on Fortinet documentation library showing you best practices for opening ports and security groups, administrative access, IM roles, and so forth. There's also AWS security best practices that you should uh, be knowledgeable uh, prior to deploying FortiGate in AWS. That includes managing AWS accounts, IM users, groups, roles, and so on. Well, let's get started with the deployment. Click on continue to subscribe. Select the unit type. Here we'll select T2 small and quantity of one. Click on continue to configuration and accept all the default settings and then click continue to launch and choose the action. You want it to launch in EC2 and click on launch. This will take you to the instance configuration page and you can select options here starting with uh, the instance type which is a uh, default so you don't have to do anything with that and step three just again select all the default values click uh, next same for added storage tags are the same no options Next step is to create a security group and we'll just utilize all the default settings here since this is a new deployment for FortiGate 7.0 release. Click review and launch to see the final page to review all the information, configurations, the parameters that you have selected. Once you are satisfied, click launch and here you will also have to select a key pair. So we are going to utilize the existing key pair and launch instance. So instance is initiating. While the instance is initiating, we can look into the instance itself. So clicking on view instances will show you the instance that uh, is being deployed right now. So it's saying it's pending, initializing, this will take some time, so we're going to pause the video and come back. The initialization has completed, so the instance is running. Let's give it a name. Save that information. And let's access the FortiGate GUI by selecting the public IP address, opening up another tab and accepting the server certificate and here it says you gotta use admin and the instance id to log in so we'll accept go back to the instance ec2 instance page copy the instance id and provide that as the password admin and the instance id to log in once you log in, it'll ask you to change the password. So provide the instance ID again and input new password. Click OK. And then re-log in with a new password to access the FortiGate GUI. Once you log in, there'll be some basic setups that are needed. So click begin, provide a host name, and then for the dashboard, let's leave it as default optimal. And this will take you to 
the dashboard screen. And from here, you can start configuring all the FortiGate options that you want to utilize. What's available in this VM in FortiGuard license information. So you can see that there's virtual machine, general update, firmware update, intrusion protection, and so forth. And if this is your first time deploying it, you'll have to create a FortiCare account. Go to support.fortinet.com and register to create an account. With this deployment, you get one physical interface in a VM, as you can see in the network interfaces GUI. There's port one. We will have to create another interface in AWS uh, instance via the network interfaces option. So click on network interface, click create network interface, and provide all the detail information. We're going to do port two. We're going to select the subnet, which is the instance information for the VM that we're running. And we want to auto assign and then we want to select the security group ID. So once that's done, click on create and the interface is created. Now we will have to associate it to the instance itself. So we'll go back to the instance table. Highlight the instance, go to Actions, Networking, Attach a Network Interface, and select the interface that we had just created earlier, and click on Attach to associate it to the FortiGate VM. With the interface associated, let's go back to the FortiGate GUI and configure the interface for a land facing interface with an IP address. So go to Network Interfaces, and now you can see port 2 uh, shows up there as a physical interface. Edit and provide an alias. Let's give it a LAN name. And then manual IP address. We'll just, for this example, use 10.01.1 as the IP address for this interface. And enable administrative access for HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH. And that's all there is to it. Click OK to save. So once saved, it'll go back to the interface screen. And you can see that port 2 has been configured as a LAN interface with the 10.1.1 IP address. Since that's configured, now you can go ahead and start creating security policies, users, and firewall policies. To do that, you can go to docs at fortinet.com and look at the administration guide. In this guide, there are many options on the left-hand side, like getting started, but we're gonna concentrate on the policy objects policies where you can create firewall policies, net policies for source destination, and then also in uh, security profiles. This is where you would create profiles for antivirus, web filtering, application control, intrusion protection, and so forth. And then under the SSL VPN, you can see that uh, there's a availability for IPsec VPN configuration and SSL VPN. So we'll take a look at that quickly. In here, you can create split tunneling web mo for users. You can also look at the best practices and quick start section. This video walks you through SSL VPN split tunneling configuration at video.fortinet.com in that link highlighted. In here, it'll go through all the parts and pieces that you'll need to configure SSL VPN split tunneling for remote user access. So you can view this at your leisure. One last thing I want to mention in this video is what we call automation stitches. In Security Fabric in automation, you can see that by default, there are some stitches already created for a compromised host, for event logging to for the analyzer if you have that and then HA failover, webhooks, 
license expiry and all that stuff. So there's stitches, there's also triggers, which are associated to the stitches here. There's the default, you know, for compromise hosts, uh, event logging, HA failover, and so on. And then in the actions, you can call, you know, different actions. Like here we have quarantine, afford a switch, default, you send an email. And if we wanted to create a new stitch, go to create. And then inside the added triggers, you can see the available options of compromise hosts, adding security fabric event, um, HA failover, and then OS event logs as well. So under added action is where you can call um, AWS Lambda function. So in here, there's some cloud compute options. So AWS Lambda is one of them. Up on top, you, there's notification. You can send email and, and the other options that are available. And that's all documented in the 7.0 admin guide under automation stitches for creating automation stitches, how to do triggers and actions as well here, highlighting the AWS land uh, action that you can execute. Hope this demonstration provided some insight into how easily you can provision FortiGate VM in uh, AWS. Thank you for watching.